Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Johnson. Today, I'll be teaching you different way you can send files, pictures, music, any document, anything from your laptop to another person's laptop. Now, this is my own laptop. This is my PC. You can see this is a laptop, and then this is another person's laptop. Can you see? This is my own laptop. Now, I want to send a file from my laptop to another person's laptop, and I don't have flash, I don't have any cord, USB cord. Now, I want to use what we call command prompt. Mainly, command prompt is every is available on every system, every PC. So, let's start. You can't go to the search. The search here so this i'm using window 10 that's why for window 7 just go to is you locate window uh, like this for those other pc you can see those window 7 you can see this here those window so you can see it so you can always search here okay but now i'm using window 10 now for the for the benefit of using window 10 now I will click a CMD. Now you see what I click? Say those are the results. Command prompt. That is command prompt. Those place I can use it. It's some little code. Little code. Then you can say I open it. But at times it be benefit for you to be okay, great, to be very great and very to in order to work very well. Just run as administrator can you see now so i run as administrator here can you see then i click on my yes that is command prompt sorry i can't move on with white white lettering so for an hacker hacker is green so let me change i'm change the color to green you can see in order for me to and see clear very well and everything now what's the first code i want to send from my pc to another person pc then click your next next you can see does it I click on next i click my enter when you enter here you see what's the brain it's blinking next and it's blinking now i click on w l a n these are command prompt code now this the meaning of WLK means wireless lo local area network it means wireless local area network so you click enter again then what next to set you set hosted network set hosted network mode equals to there's no space here equals to allow you enter your enter the host the can you see the output the host network mode has been set to allow what this means now I can host any network on my system on my system on my PC now I've it have been hosted now and now what else I want to do. I want to set a name for my hosted network. I want to set password so that anybody cannot just come to my system anyhow or connect to my wireless network anyhow. Now, what should I write? Now, there is a simple code here set hosted. Can you see? Hosted network. Set hosted network. SSID equals to this SSID means the name the particular name you want to use for your for your Wi-Fi for your hotspot yeah for your hotspot you know for every hotspot you know you customize the particular name you want to connect to another person hotspot now you use on it depends on the name now this is my hotspot you don't have to locate my hotspot whenever I own it now. So you, I can use you can use your your nickname, you can use your name, anything. But since my name is Johnson and I want to use Johnson, let me use Johnson in my own case. 
I use John C. Can you see? This is John C. The SID of the network has been successfully changed. Can you see? Now, my name is John C. My Wi Fi. Can you see? Can you see it? Now, I want to set a code. Now, I don't set password for my Wi Fi, you know. Anybody can connect anyhow. And it's very dangerous if anybody connects to your Wi Fi, your hotspots from your PC, from his PC, you can take anything. You know, Akas use it to, you know, to bind to our documents, shut down our system, anything. I can use it to do that. But for the purpose of this, you want to send and receive anything. Now, let's set. Set, hosted, network. Set hosted network key. Equals to, this key, the minimal character is one to eight. Is one eight is eight eight character. Now you can do more than eight, but the minimal is eight. Now my for the benefit of this lesson, let me just use one two three four five six seven eight. At times, if my number grand, my my P, my password cannot be easy as this. But for the purpose of this lesson, now that's for what to understand very well. Now this is my my Wi-Fi. This is my Wi-Fi password. Then I click on enter. The user password of the hosted network has been successfully changed. You can see, I put it there. Now what is the next thing? Let me start. Start hosted network. Start hosted network. Can you see? The hosted network started. Now, anybody can now view my. It's like. I've opened my hotspot. You use the phone on our tab or anything you know, on our smartphone, we call it hotspot. But here we call it hosted network. And then, so how can we now connect to this? This is my system. Can you see my PC? We now go to the other person PC now that I want to use. Those are another person PC. How can this person, how can this person get my PC? The next first thing you're going to do is just where you own your Wi-Fi, anywhere you can own on your Wi-Fi. Can you see here? So you see the name. You can see I've owned the Wi-Fi here. So you can see don't see. This is my signal strength, it's excellent. You can see Techno K7, Pharaoh Pad, Larry, but my own is John C. Can you see? Let me the place has been connected, connected before. Let me disconnect. Now I've disconnected now. Now let me search again. Fresh air. Yeah. You can see this Johnson. Yeah. Connecting to Johnson. Can you see? No, it has been connected. It's because I've used this to connect it before. It will have bring the space for for password. I'll just enter one to pick provide this seven here to it. Now it has been connected. I'll now come back to my old PC here. Do you hear now? So this is my PC, this is my window. So I will come to my file explorer here. Every system have this. So this is my file explorer. Okay, this is my file explorer. Now you now look for where for where network. You know, every year when you check this side very well, there's always a place for network in which there will be network. You can see. Let me see, check. Let me check. Let me check my own network. Okay, this is the network here. You can see this network. So you just click on network, my own system. So it's because you know this PC I've connected to my my Wi-Fi. Now I can now feed the PC from my home. So since I've connected to the network here, I've pressed the network here. You can see what it brings. This is the name of my PC. F Mission 2019, and this is the name of this PC, that, the other PC here. Yeah. This is the name Olamide Timmy. See, that's the name. You customize the only Timmy PC, so I can I can refresh. I can ref in most cases you refresh. It's okay, you can refresh. Now this is my own my own. Now you can start sending and collecting here, so I can ban into Olamide this one understand and i can go to my home so i can send anything from here to allow me day. so thank you for watching next time we'll be talking about some code
technology to use how to hack another person wi-fi it's not for for fraud or anything for educative purpose so thank you very much my name is johnson god bless you thank you